big deal, it's a big deal. Hey guys, it's Suresh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Last week, I invited the adorable Christian, aka Hexgen, over to my place. He was here for RuPaul's Drag Con in New York City, and it was a great opportunity for the two of us to debox the brand new Kitty Girl Pink RuPaul doll by Integrity Toys. She is sitting right back there, and oh my god, I absolutely love her. So today, I have another fun Integrity Toys review to share with you guys. My girl Poppy Parker is back, honey. I ended up getting two new dolls from the brand new 2018 collection which is entitled the city sweetheart collection our girl poppy is in new york city hey you guys know that i have a huge huge crush on poppy and love her so much so today we're going to be taking a look at peach parfait she is one of the gorgeous frothy dolls from the city sweetheart collection you guys will have to tune in next week to see who else i got from the collection i'm excited to see what this year's box looks like oh wow what a gorgeous gorgeous deep rich magenta pink box with gold poppy parker writing we see a little bit of red here on the sides um, that are peeking through from the inset oh my god what a beautiful box it definitely has very much like a kate spade feel to it right are we ready <laughs> one two and three. <gasps> oh my god ah! <laughs> oh hi poppy holy mackerel you guys she is so beautiful i first of all don't think that this uh dress fits in here correctly they really should have given her a bigger box but outside of that i am so so taken by the soft color of this entire ensemble I don't even remember it looking this glittery, but I am so in love with it. Look at all these beautiful little silver glitter polka dots. Look at the little ribbon bows. Oh my God, look at that face. <gasps> wow, and look at that hair. It's so blonde and so there. I am so, so excited to get in and take a look at her little accessories. As we know, this collection features high-heeled feet, which is so exciting for our Poppy because you guys know I love a high-heeled foot. I'm also really taken by like this gorgeous bright turquoise that's on the inside here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories, shall we? One, two, and three. Oh my God! Oh my God, you guys, look at these shoes. Oh. Queen, beautiful high-heeled pink shoes. They have a very soft uh, peach undertone to them. They appear to be a silk shoe with a plastic uh, pink sole and heel. Really, really beautiful. And then next to that, I see her beautiful clutch here in the same color and same fabric as the shoes. I see a little pearl detail on the top here. And of course, it looks like it opens and closes. I see the little snap detail. Underneath that, I see her adorable jewelry suite. Okay, so it's like pearl everything with gold hardware. Okay, okay, cute, cute. And then uh, I also see an additional set of hands for her, her carrying hands. Adorable, how beautiful, huh? So the story of this poppy is that she is going to a debutante ball. Um, while in New York. These were the days where debutante balls were like a really big deal and you wore this beautiful, you know, ball gown to it. It's still something that happens here in New York, funny enough, but it's so like elite and so kind of insular in, in how and where it happens that I don't think the general public ever really knows about it. Poppy lifts out just like so from her box. Um, here in the back, she is tied with white ribbons, and here is her traditional white Poppy Parker uh, round base for her doll stand. And then here on the inside, we see the telescoping portion. And then underneath that, we see her certificate of authenticity here. Beautiful color. Um, I really, really love this turquoise and gold thing. Oh my God. Right, let's get Poppy out of this box and set her free, shall we? Ah! <laughs> Look at all this gown. Ah! Layers and layers and layers and layers. This is everything my dreams are made of. So she does have a hairnet on here. There is a little bit of that clear um, fishing wire type of thread that they use to keep the dress up. So I'm going to go ahead and snip that off. Oh my goodness. And she has stockings on. Here is Peach Parfait Poppy Parker fully dressed in all of her accessories. And oh my goodness, you guys, this doll is so beautiful and so, so me. Her face is exquisite. 
Her pearl jewelry is such a nice accent to her really, really pale skin tone. I love that faint hint of blush. I love the big oversized bow in her hair. She does have a case of box hair, so we will have to give it a little spray and zhuzh it out a little bit. But I do like the hairstyle in that it fits the theme very well. Her gown is just exquisite, you guys. I love the little tulle accents here around the shoulders. I love the little silk ribbon bows. The bodice is gorgeous. There's so much more detail to it in person than I ever saw in the promotional photos. Her little clutch is adorable. She has gloves on as well and just the detail even on the skirt. So each of these bows is actually gathering a little bit of this fabric here. It's almost like they're catching little pleats. The fabric is a beautiful uh, soft peach polka dot tulle with a silver glittery polka dot on it, gorgissimo. And then underneath that, we see a really pretty kind of metallic gold threaded peach fabric, adorable. And then underneath that, we see lots and lots of underskirts here, uh, also in a soft peach fabric. These are all in a thicker tulle fabric, uh, very similar to what we would see in many of our previous underskirts. There's two layers of that. And then underneath that, we see her beautiful little uh, feet here. Check out her gorgeous little shoes. They are silk fabric shoes with a little bow on them. I'm dying to see what the inside of her gown looks like. Yes, darling. I fear that these gloves are gonna be very difficult to get back on again, but you guys know I have to see what her little hands look like. Oh, cute. What do you guys think? Gloves or no gloves? No gloves? Gloves. I don't know. Hmm. Here comes her little underskirt, and here's the dress without the underskirt. So definitely a bit more deflated. The dress, uh, how do we, does this little thing snip off? There's no way to remove it. The little shrug portion does not come off. Does Poppy's arms come off? <gasps> they do! So I'm taking her arms off to get her gown uh, off of her. Here is Miss Peach Parfait Poppy Parker in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her teeny tiny adorable little physique here. She is definitely very, very pale, but I do think that that kind of flows in with the whole peach parfait thing. Her face, as always, is magic. Love that beautiful eye makeup that she has on. Very soft, peachy nude shadows with some apricot there in the crease. We see a nice... A uh, dark, dark, thick black line of eyeliner across the top. She does have applied lashes there that we see from the side. A beautiful peachy pink apricot lip. Love her soft auburny eyebrows and that faint little bit of blush there that we're seeing. I love this big oversized bow on her head. Beautiful silk bow. In person, it's a little bit more apricot-y than it is on film. On film, I feel like it looks a little bit more pink but it is affixed to the top portion of her hair and it's just so beautiful, you guys, I love it. And there's her gorgeous little faux pearl necklace. It does have a little gold clasp on it right there. Scrolling down, we see her little bracelet. It's in the same faux pearl uh, composition as a necklace and the same gold clasp as well. I kept uh, her left glove on so that you guys can see it up close. Soft, trico -y, stretchy fabric. There is her little uh, manicure up close. Look at that arch, honey. Yes, so exaggerated, so beautiful, so petite. I mean, you guys, her feet are teeny tiny. She does have uh, beige slash nude pantyhose on, very similar in construction and look to the Barbie fashion model hose that we all know and love. Here is Poppy's sweet little ball gown, and oh my god, you guys, <laughs> I love this piece so much. We see here on the bodice that there are two different portions to this. Uh, around her waist area here that's cinching it all in is the same fabric that is underneath her skirt here, which is a beautiful, silky, gold-threaded fabric. I can't tell exactly what it is, uh, but it feels nice and thick, I will tell you that. On her bust here, we see um, the same fabric that is lining it, and then it's overlaid with a little bit of this polka dot tulle, which is beautiful. We see that same tulle wrapping around her shoulders from one side to the other. That is providing a little bit of a cute little shrug detail there that is connected with 
two little bows here. For those of you guys who like don't like bows and, and cutesy little things, this doll is not for you, just a heads up. <laughs> the little bows are indeed gathering little portions of the tool here. I feel like it's kind of helping contain the volume of the skirt. This top layer of tool here, it feels like it's two separate layers. We can see here that it is actually indeed two different layers. You see that? So this underneath layer here is what the underskirts are made of. It's a, a plain peachy pink tool. And then we see the beautiful decorative fabric on top. And I think what it's doing is it's giving it a little bit more opacity which is nice. And when we lift that layer up, we see the beautiful lining layer here. Um, lovely, lovely hem here. Beautiful seam that's nicely done. It feels almost like a really thick uh, brocade because of the way it uh, kind of shines and gleams on the hand. There is her IT tag, just like so. It is sewn into the uh, center back seam that we see going all the way down the back there. So the whole skirt is one panel of fabric uh, wrapped around there and then it's cinched there at the waist. Beautiful construction as always. Let's take a look at the closures here in the back. Uh, there are um, one, two, three, four silver hooks there. Beautiful. And then we see a facing as always. And then the little thread loops to catch the hooks just like so. The whole bodice portion is beautifully lined. You see the detail and the construction here of all the panels coming together. And then you also see that where it meets the skirt, it's tucked in so beautifully. Here's her sweet little underskirt and what a beautiful piece this is, right? I feel like it could be worn in and of itself even. Um, I love that this top yoke portion is in that beautiful soft pink silky fabric. Um, that actually I think the shoes are made of this fabric. Yeah, the shoes and her purse actually. So this is much more pink than it is peach, especially in person, but um, a really nice way to keep uh, the waist and hip area from bulking up too much and then kind of starting the volume from there. And then we see two layers of tool here. Um, the top layer is uh, a peach color. Oh, and look at that. The bottom layer is actually more pink. Lovely. So these are the two colors that are coming together in this whole color story to kind of give us this beautiful um, rosy peach color. A uh, simple circular uh, pattern piece here. One large circle that we see that is hemmed together um, in the back. There is her little IT tag. We see two closures here, two silver hooks just like so and then two thread loops just like that, and then even a little facing there. And the inside of this is actually lined in the same lining fabric that we saw the bodice of her dress in. Here are her beautiful stiletto bow pumps. They are a fabric upper and then a plastic heel and sole portion here. A beautiful soft pink color. We see that the insoles are also in the same pink silky fabric. The bow is in the same fabric as well. Here is her beautiful little clutch. It is an envelope shaped clutch with uh, a little faux pearl button detail here on the top. We do see a silver snap, which we can use to pop it right up open just like so. Unfortunately, mine does have a little bit of a stain right there. It looks like it might be glue. Um, not a huge deal, but a bummer all the same. I never can actually get any of these bags open because they're so, so, so tight. But all the same, it does open just like so. And I'm sure this lining fabric that we see here, this beautiful kind of soft pink faux leather goes all the way inside. So there we have it, you guys. This is the gorgeous and delicious Peach Parfait Poppy Parker from the brand new 2018 City Sweetheart Collection. If you guys are into frothy ball gowns on your dolls and you are into pretty and beautiful in all of its traditional uh, meanings, I think you will absolutely love Peach Parfait. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Poppy and I are headed over to the Museum of Natural History on the Upper West Side. We are on our way to a fabulous debutante ball. Poppy is decked out and ready and we're just gonna dance the night away as she gets presented to New York City society. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Poppy here in New York. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay?
Bye.